Welcome back to another video. Appreciate you tuning in as usual. And as always, tonight's episode, episode as it's a TV show or something. Tonight's video is Connecticut COVID-19 population. What does that mean? Normally, and I will tomorrow night, but normally I will be making videos about the statistics on COVID-19 week to week or every other week, depending on the time I'm able to get to it and we break down the categories in different sections and uh, age groups and so forth and so on but tonight I want to look at something a little bit different and we have talked about senior citizens and who it affects and who it doesn't affect and uh, I want to look at it in a different perspective so you understand the numbers involved here and how significant everybody or significant chances that you have of getting ill or not getting ill so let's jump right into it because i want to make this as quick as possible and i will be talking at the end of the video briefly about um a new episode of uh on my podcast coming up so that's up and running but anyways so connecticut covid 19 population this is the study i did today and i've been doing it and i finally got around to getting the numbers down so in connecticut the total population is 3,565,287. The COVID-19 cases currently in Connecticut, 319, let me uh, go on this side, 319,779 cases. Total deaths, 7,940. Okay. I want to look at some uh, certain numbers. Under 18 years old, there's a population of 727,318 uh, kids under 18. Currently, case-wise, there's 54,835 cases. Now, that means 7.5% of the total population got COVID. Now, we look at the deaths under 18. There's been a total of six in Connecticut. That means a 0.00008% of that population died. That means 92.5% of the population did not get COVID, and 99.99% did not die. Those are awesome numbers. But again, what do you hear all the time? Cases, cases, dying, dying, case infection, blah, 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 blah. Fear-mongering. You know, it used to be the always blamed on the Republicans or the Democrats. Fear-mongering, fear-mongering, fear-mongering. And they still do that, but now they've left it up to certain scientists. Running science, so falsely called. All right, now we want to look at over 60. Now, in the state of Connecticut, there's a total of 739,600 um, senior citizens over the age of 60. With the cases on, of total uh, COVID-19 cases, there's 66,018. That means, oh, let's look at the deaths of over 60, 7,345. Out of the, by the way, 7,940. I didn't even break down a percentage of that yet. So that means 8.9% of the total population of senior citizens got COVID. That means less than 9% of all senior citizens in Connecticut got COVID. Now we look at the deaths. 0.009% of the total population died. So that means less than 1% of the total population of senior citizens died of, of uh, COVID-19. Those aren't my crazy numbers. They just pull out of the air. That's from the Connecticut Department of Health. That's their numbers. Well, the percentages is not their numbers. Their numbers are the cases. And that's the population. Well, the population just comes from the you know the government uh, uh, census. That you just break it down from there. Uh, that's how we get that. The cases. Well, that's their case count. Department of Health. Their death count, that's their death count. And all I did was take the number, well, I divide by, multiply, subtract. All right, too many things going on there. But that's all that is. It's not making any new numbers up. It's not just my own fun and let's, let's just fabricate some numbers. No. So now we look over here. 
Well, actually, we're not going to get... Yeah, we are going to talk about this. Sorry, I got a lot off track there. So if we look at the population now, the total population of 3 million, uh, 3.5 million. Now remember, these numbers are based on 727,000, and these numbers are based on the 739,600 uh, senior citizens, and as we now can see, under 9% get COVID, and uh, un only under 1% die. When you look at it, it's a lot of deaths, but when you take a large population itself, you realize it's down here. All right, so now we look at the total population of Connecticut. So out of the total population of 3.5, we'll say it right in order, 3,565,287, out of those, out of that population, 8.9% of the total population got COVID. So less than 9% of the population of Connecticut got COVID. Less than 9%. And what does that mean? 91.1% to this point have not gotten COVID. I guess if you keep testing enough. What do we have? Oh, I didn't even write the test up there. And I don't know the exact number, but I'm close. It's 7.9 million, something about that. So just under 8 million tests. That's that's not not three times the amount. I was going to say three times the amount. But 3.5 million population, and you have 7.9 million tests. It's like they're trying really hard to get as many positive cases as they can. Now we look at the death count. 0.0022% of the total population... 3.5 million, died of COVID. Wow. That doesn't sound as deadly as a government would like you to believe it is. Is it deadly to some? Absolutely. No one's going to argue that point. But to say that it's on some sort of great epidemic... It's just wiping out people left and right that has fallen by the wayside. Fear-mongering. So now again, we look down here. Total population, 8.9% got COVID. 0.002% died. We look over here at total senior population. 8.9, which is kind of funny how that worked out. Not funny, but really interesting. 8.9% of the total senior population got COVID. So less than 9%. Less than 9% got COVID. 0.009% died of COVID. So, less than 1% of the senior citizen population, 16 over, got COVID. I'm sorry, died of COVID. So, what does that mean? Well, let's look at the bigger numbers. That means 91.1% of senior citizens in the state of Connecticut did not get COVID. And less than 1% of the population of senior citizens in Connecticut did not die of COVID. I guess that doesn't help the narrative of fear-mongering, does it? I'm just saying. So, overall, 91.1% of the total population of 3.5 million, no COVID. 91.1% of the total seniors, no COVID. Which now we, as a whole, take them all in from 0 to 9, 10 to 19. 95.5% survival rate if you have COVID. Now, I do not, I did not bring down the Bible I was going to bring down. And again, I did that last time, I believe. But I want to go to those who... Tune in, and I think these are the wrong glasses. Uh-oh, now we're in trouble. Um, these are the glasses that don't fit very well. All right, I was going to look up Deuteronomy 11.16, 1 Corinthians 15, 33, and 2 Timothy. Uh, let's look at this one. Sorry for my head being turned to the camera. I apologize. Let us go to Deuteronomy 11.16. Let's make this quick and easy. I did not save. I did not save. I did not save it. All right. I'm trying to get to as fast as I can here. Deuteronomy 11.16. Did not have it bookmarked. 
11, 16. All right, turn your King James Bible to chapter 11, verse 16, if you do. If you don't, you could, there's apps everywhere, and if uh, I recommend getting a, get a King James Bible. Amazing. Amazing truths you'll find in here. Take heed to yourselves that your heart be not deceived, and ye turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. What is Dr. Fauci right now? Seriously, I think my glasses are all crooked, and if I look goofy with my glasses all uh, crooked, I apologize. Crooked like the government. All right, that was a okay joke. All right, so who are people worshiping right now like a god? All these media outlets and these, some even on the right wing, but the left wing mostly, uh, if you want to call it left, but they're worshiping Dr. Fauci. They're worshiping science instead of the creator of science. Got a problem there. Let's turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. So, open your King James Bible up, because it is the greatest Bible ever made. Do, 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 do. 33. Alright, chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Communica evil communications. Yeah, well, when those communications are telling people to turn on other people and attack other people for not wearing their masks, we got a problem here. It's no longer about science. It's now turned to hate. You know, they say people like Trump should tell the Trump supporters, um, and no, I'm not some Trump supporter. They tell them, or they're telling, uh, I think it was, I think it was actually Fauci, who said maybe he should tell his supporters to get the vaccine. Hey, Dr. Fauci, maybe you should tell your supporters to stop hating people. But that's how it starts, doesn't it? Under Stalin, Lenin, Hitler. Mm. Have the people turn on each other with hate. And then the government swoops in. Well, certain military Gestapo government swoops in. Let's go to 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 13. Get this. I gotta go page by page because I always flip right by. If I'm going right by, come on, don't. Ah, almost so past it. Second Timothy, chapter three, verse thirteen. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So here we got two couple things going on, and I, and I tell you, it just works perfect with the government. Evil men, which I'm going to say Dr. Fauci and many like him in the higher ranks, they wax worse and worse, don't they? And they deceive everyone. And here's the thing. Those who are part of that deception and who are on that uh, uh, train of deceiving others, they become deceived. So... They seem to, and I'm watching them, they seem to deceive each other where they don't even know what they're talking about anymore. So one will say one quote and the other will say another and they're like, wait, what did you say? Hold on. We got to get our lines together. We got to get our lies together rather. They got to be the same. Because they lie so much, they don't know what they're lying about anymore because it keeps on, I know people call them flip, flop, Fauci or whatever. They keep on flipping. And so it's like, wait, you can, but well, you can't. Well, I mean, you can certain, well, not really. You know, you're only going to, don't worry, it'll last for a long, long time. Well, we don't know how long it's going to last. You know, it's, come on. Keep you in the dark, keep you wondering, keep you confused. Uh, what a, you know, it's amazing. Who is the author of confusion? The devil. Who is not the author of confusion? God. Pretty simple, isn't it? Oh, no, it can't. it's not that simple. Oh, but it is. But it is. I've said this before. All of this, and this is not, this is, this is, look at it. I'll tell you what, if I, if I had these type of numbers in my, on my grades when I was in school, my mom would have hung it up on, she would have loved me more. I'm just kidding, my mom loved me. Man, but if I brought grades home like this, 95, 95.5% survival rate. And we're running around like we're all dying. Well, at least that's how they like to say it. That's sad. We don't celebrate this. I don't understand. We don't celebrate this. We celebrate the 
That's what we concentrate on. And we can. We can try to figure out how to save lives and don't even stand on the vaccine, people. Are you seeing it now? Now, let me take a step back and be humble. But I had mentioned this before. And I'm not the only one that said that these numbers weren't going to be big changes. People thought vaccine was going to come out and suddenly 100% of the people were going to be survived. No, it didn't happen that way. It didn't happen that way. But you know what? It's funny. Those who died from the vaccine, I guess their lives don't matter so much. It's not a big deal. When you follow God, God, you have none of these confusion and confused numbers. You don't have any of it. Even though maybe I'm talking in a confused manner now. I apologize. Sometimes I get a little, uh, not angry. Well, you can have righteous anger, but it really bothers me. That we're allowing government and, and self-serving scientists, so falsely called, to destroy lives. We allow this, and it's okay. It's okay. This is more than okay. 3.5 million, my friends. 95. Let's really concentrate where they tried to sell this on. 91% of senior citizens in Connecticut didn't even get COVID. And less, one, less than 1% even died of it. I appreciate you tuning into this video. I really do. I, I hope you've learned something from this. Um, I'm not this, you know, I'm not genius. I'm not a prodigy. I didn't go to MIT. But I know how to read numbers. Anybody can you can go on the Connecticut Department of Health yourself if you want. You don't have to look at my numbers. I thank you for listening. I appreciate that. But you can look on the website yourself and break it down yourself and realize, wait a second, we're not dying like they said that we are. And we've talked about probable deaths. Oh, boy. Probable, baby. Oh, boy. That's sad. I implore, implore, <laughs> implore all of you. Turn to God. There's never been a change in that Bible. Well, I shouldn't say that. You have the new perversions. But God remains the same. It's you that changes. God stays the same. Stays the same. His love stays the same. You change. Do not. The world cannot accommodate him. The world cannot make him... I should accommodate... Maybe not the right way of saying it... The world can't make him fit into their box. It's his world. It's his earth. He created it. For you, this is temporary. With him, it's eternal. I appreciate you tuning in. God bless. I love you. And have a fantastic evening.